let's talk about discipline, how we can start being disciplined and move forward. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So let's talk about discipline and what does it mean to be disciplined and if you're disciplined in one area does it mean you're disciplined in all areas we're going to talk about that and then we're going to talk about how to start moving forward so let's talk about the word discipline that means being able to stay on track not be derailed and keep moving forward for the most part i'm disciplined yep that's right i go and read 300 page books and all this kind of stuff. I do 12 books a year and I'm a really slow learner, but I can do 10 pages a day. That's right, 10 pages a day in a calendar month is about 300 pages. Well, guess what? We can do 300 page book. There's 12 months in a year. I am disciplined in that area that I can get through 12 books a year. That's right, I read 12 books a year at least, sometimes more, depending on if I'm traveling and whatnot. So let's get disciplined. Discipline really is taking small steps over time to move forward. It's not giant leaps, it's small incremental steps. That's how we get disciplined. And we have to do it over a long period of time to keep going. And yes, we're going to get knocked down. Just because you get knocked down one day doesn't mean you can't get back up. So being disciplined means let's get back up. When we have a setback, not a failure. Failure means we just gave up and we just have no hope. A setback is, yep, I stumbled. I'm going to get back up and move forward. Okay? Navy SEALs, who are the most elite people out there. That's right. They are the most successful operators. They have a term called fail forward fast. And what that means is they go move forward, analyze, make adjustments, move forward. And they take small steps and they move forward. They also have slow is fast, fast is deadly. So they move methodically through all of their activities to become successful. And the majority of those gentlemen and women are successful. They are the elite of the elite and they're not rocket scientists for the most part. Some of them are, some of them are very intelligent, but a lot of them will tell you that they're not, but they're the most successful because they're disciplined. So how do we get disciplined in certain areas? Well, if it's fitness, it's just show up every day, do something small. If we're just starting out, maybe it's a walk to the mailbox. The next day, a walk to the mailbox and back. Maybe it's a walk to the mailbox now down the street. It's just those incremental steps. We're not going to jump in and go do a marathon or we're not going to go on to a big cycling race, you know, like triathlons and all that stuff right off the bat. We're going to build up. You can't just go in there and jump into doing that. I've done that in the past and it has not worked out for me. And I'm willing to bet it hasn't worked out for you either. So build a plan. Sit down and say, okay, I have a goal and let's back it up of where we need to be so we can take those small steps and move forward. That's how we're gonna be disciplined over the long haul, okay? Now, let's talk about being disciplined. Now, I'm disciplined in a lot of areas. I am very disciplined, I mean, I just go through and hit it. But there are some areas that I'm not very disciplined, which is like eating healthier. I wanna lose weight, and for the most part, I've been trying to do that by outworking a bad diet. It does not work. So I've had to institute eating healthier for the most part while I'm working and whatnot, so that way I can lose weight. But to be disciplined takes time. It's time with effort over time will get you your benefits. So we need to be disciplined to do that and move forward. So just because you're disciplined in one area doesn't mean you're disciplined all over. We have to work in all these areas. And that's why I go and plan over the, the Christmas holidays my next year's goals. I set those things up and I break them down into quarters when I need to hit them and I start going after it. But I don't just kind of wing it. Because if I don't have a plan, and most people, if they don't have a plan, they're not going to succeed. You gotta have a plan. Can't do New Year's resolutions and expect to drop 20 pounds. 
you got to have a plan on how you're going to do that. You're going to get that trainer, you're going to do stuff, and you're going to have a date when you're going to do that so you have actionable steps. Doing that will get us to be disciplined in all of our areas. We've got to have a plan. Now, if you have any more questions about that, feel free to reach out. Contact information is below. If this video is helpful, hit like, share, subscribe, send it to somebody you think it might benefit. So I do these videos to help you. We'll see you next time.